Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Mary Ann and behind the camera <laughs> again. Again, and sister behind the camera, filling in for Ralph, who's working today. Um, and I'm lucky I got time off for the holidays. But um, so uh, we are switching in the kitchen and we are making up some pies among. Now, Mary, I know you've heard of lemon meringue pie, right? Right. So today, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to make an orange meringue pie. L'orange. Okay? That sounds yummy. Yes. Um, so here's what I've got. Uh, earlier, I made up a. Here, Mayor. Uh, down. We got it chilling. I made up a uh, pastry here for just a single pie crust. Now, we've made um, lots of pie crusts on Cavalcade of Food, so I'll just tell you that if you want to see how we do it, um, you can search the channel, but it's very standard, very traditional. I'm going to put some flour down here on my cloth. Um, and it's a nine, uh, enough for a nine inch crust, so this is uh, a cup and a half of flour, um, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of shortening, and maybe five tablespoons of ice water, kind of all together here. I want to make sure I've got flour on my rolling pin and on my board here. So because this is a meringue pie, the filling, like in a lemon meringue, is going to be cooked on the stove top, not baked in the oven. So what that means is we've got to bake mare our um, pastry first. Now you could just as easily buy a I don't know what that is, buy a um, you know a roll out pie crust at the store. Um, and use that if you didn't have time or the inclination to, to do your own. So, but I had all the ingredients on hand for making our own. So, I've got um, a nine inch pie plate here. So, Mayor, we're going to try to do this. You don't know how many disasters I've had over the years with this, but we're going to just How's that? Okay, so let's put our crust in like so. And then we're going to trim off some of this on the far outside. So I've got the oven preheated to, um, what is it, Mayor? It's pretty warm. Four, is it 450? 450. 450. Um, Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the crust that's kind of hanging over the edge of the pie plate. See what I'm doing? I'm folding it like so. Folding it over and under. Okay? So only pretty side shows. Right. So we're just going to kind of tuck that under. and keep tucking till we get all the way around. All right, now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of what they call a fluting or a scalloped look. And this, and if the crust tears, just kind of pinch it back together. Sometimes you can use a little water. So here, we're gonna do like this. We're gonna this is going to be our tool right here. Index finger and then thumb and index finger. Okay. And we're going to go just like that. I've also seen pies that they just use a fork to do the edges. Yes, absolutely. And you could do that. You could just take a fork and they just press it down like that. And that's a, that's a whole other look. I kind of like this, makes it a little more fancy. More fancy. Now here's where the crust is a little on the thin side. So you know what? I'm going to just patch in with some of my, um, 
as you can see folks I'm not a pastry chef and but to me when you have something that's homemade it doesn't look like it came out of a factory so okay okay here's our shell so we're good here now what I've got to do Mayor, is let's get a fork Now, you know why I'm doing this? No, I do not. So, this is going to help the crust so it doesn't puff up like a balloon when it's in the oven. Because normally, you'd have filling in here, right? Right. That would hold the crust down. Right. We got nothing in here. Right. And so, this, first we're going to do the bottom, then we're going to come around to the sides. Now, you wouldn't ever want to do this if you were putting filling in because the filling obviously would ooze out. But we're just going to use a fork. Okay, there we go. All right, that should be fine. Okay, now the oven 450, it's probably going to be somewhere between 8 and 12 minutes. Okay, we put in that, we just want it nice and golden brown. And while that's doing that, I'll get cleaned up and get our ingredients ready for the filling of our orange meringue pie. Okay, so we've got uh, our pie crust, uh, I guess it was about 10, 12 minutes. Um, see how nice and brown it is? I'm going to let it just cool and do its thing. You know, I had a little bit left over. <laughs> So I actually made a little crust for a custard cup here. Um, I don't know if we'll have any extra filling or not. You know, sometimes there's more filling than will fit in the pie. And if so, we could do a little mini. Uh, otherwise, you know what? I will fill that with something good. All right, so now let's get to making our filling. Here's our ingredients for our filling, honey. Look what I've got. i got a cup of sugar. And let me turn, turn the burner on here. So I got a cup of sugar. I've got a quarter cup of cornstarch. Okay, that's our thicker upper. And then I'm going to put in just a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. All right, let's get this kind of all whisked together here in the saucepan. Alright, once it's all mixed, we're going to stir in our OJ, and I've got about one and a half cups, one and a half cups of orange juice, okay? So we're going to put that in here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to a simmer. Um, and this will actually start to thicken once it gets up to near boiling temperature. Can you see this, hon? Can you, I don't know if you can get inside the, the pan. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to keep on stirring, and then as it thickens up, we'll come on back. Um, once this is thick, then we move on to the next ingredient, which is I've got three egg yolks. Save those whites because we're going to use the three egg whites to make our meringue topping. But I've got three egg yolks well beaten and that will work into our filling. Um, but we'll get this up to temperature and then we'll be back. Check this mare. I'm, I'm going to turn, turn this up. All right, I've reduced the heat down to low but look at this filling. Nice you and see, thick. You see that? So you have to constantly stir, and but once it starts to come to a boil, again, this is the cornstarch doing its magic here, um, and we're going to let it cook for another minute or so, and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, get the eggs worked in here. So I'm just going to keep stirring, but see it's nice and thick. And now we're on a low heat. We started on a medium heat and brought it up uh, to, a, to just as it started to boil. 
turn the heat down again stirring the whole time um, so that because it's got a lot of sugar in it you know you don't want it to burn and it really helps to kind of thicken it up so what we've got to do now is we've got our eggs now this is really hot obviously so if I put the eggs in right now you know what would happen scrambled eggs scrambled eggs nobody wants scrambled eggs so what we're going to do is we're going to temper the eggs um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this mixture here okay I'm going to take it off the heat and then I'm going to take a little bit of this mixture and uh, about a quarter cup and I'm going to put it slowly into our eggs and whisk them into the eggs a little at a time okay and what this is doing is Mayor this is gradually bringing these egg yolks up to temperature that way they're not in total heat shock when it gets added back into the pot okay let me see if I can get in here there we go mm. it has this wonderful orange whoop, if I don't lose my tool here okay all right I would say our eggs are tempered now so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our kind of tempered egg mixture and slowly work this in to the pot. Are you seeing what's happening in the pot, Mayor? We're going to work this in. And of course the egg is what adds, oh, thank you. Oh, sometimes I wish I was an octopus and had eight arms. The eggs is what is going to, of course, give this filling its body and kind of, you know, richness. So let's get all that good stuff in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it back on the low heat for another couple minutes. Okay? And I'm going to keep on stirring and then when we get back we've only got one more piece to add in. I've got, uh, oh, maybe uh, four or five teaspoons of orange zest there and a tablespoon of butter. We're going to add that in to our mixture and then we will have our filling made. Turn this off. See this sort of gentle bubbling? So we let that do that for another two minutes. See how nice and creamy and thick that is? Alright. So, now we've got our orange zest and butter. The butter, of course, is going to make it give it a little shine, a little sheen, and then the orange zest of course is going to even amp up the nice um, orangey flavor. This we're going to do off the heat. Oh, can you, are you getting that orange infusion? Yes. I'm getting a bit of an orange facial here. Wonderful. Okay, and then the butter. So good. All right, now what we have to do, before we put this in the pie shell, we want it to cool a few minutes, okay? So we're going to just let it hang here. We'll do a little kitchen cleanup, and then the filling goes in the pie, and then we'll get the meringue going. Be right back. All right, it looks like the butter is all melted. Now, let me get this. Now I'm going to get my spatula here. So here's our pie crust. It's cooled down. And I'm going to put the filling. Look at that, Mayor. That looks good. Doesn't it? So, 
want to make sure we get as much as we can out of here. Good. Now, we'll just sort of spread this around. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Looks like there's some stuck on the spatula. Mm -hmm. How oh is my. it? That is so good. Mmm. Orangey. Of course, sweet. It's got the sugar in it. This is going to be a good pie. Okay, so here's the three egg whites that we had left over, mm -hmm. right? Because yep. we used the yolks in the filling. We're going to get this baby going here. I'm going to get it a little foamy and I'm going to put in a little bit of cream of tartar to kind of help it. I'm putting in, well, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay. So three egg whites, a little cream of tartar, and I've got sugar here. I've got six tablespoons of sugar. I'm going to put this in a little at a time. As soon as... See how it's foaming up, Mara? Yeah. We're going to let it start to peak a little bit and then I'm going to start to add the, the sugar. This is... Um, when you have a... This is where a stand mixer really comes in handy or certainly an electric can mixer even for doing egg whites. Okay, look what's happening now. See how it's kind of getting, we're going to put in a little of the sugar, a little at a time. This will sweeten it up. The oven's preheated to 350 degrees. Again, everything in the, let's go back to the pie. The crust is cooked, the filling is cooked. What we're going to do really is bake our meringue, which doesn't take long. And if you think of a, a meringue pie, right, it's got kind of that nice golden color yep. right on the right. top. That's what we're going to go for. And that doesn't take long. You do want the egg whites to be beaten stiff. Okay, all of our sugar is in. I'm going to get a spatula here. Another minute or so and they'll be ready. We'll be right back. Let's see. There we go. This is how I tell if this peak is standing on its own, we're good. So we'll get this off here. Now. I'm going to turn this out over our, our filling. And, you know, it's a little on the delicate side. Be nice and fluffy. Okay. So we want to take the meringue to the edge of the pie. You want to seal the whole thing. Okay, right Mare? See right. how we're going right yep. to the crust? The edge. Okay, so once you've got it kind of sealed up, like so, now we got it. Okay. So what we, what you can do is you, you know what it's good to go just as it is right here. But what I like to do is I'm going to get a teaspoon 
actually, let me get a tablespoon. It'll be easier. And we're going to just put some nice swirls on the top. And that is just to kind of pretty it up a little bit. See what I'm doing? Just using the spoon to kind of create little swirls on the top of the pie. Okay. In we go. Um, yeah, somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. We're just going to keep an eye on it. We want that top nice and golden brown. We'll come back and we're all set. Okay, it's been almost 11 minutes. Uh, just a little more than 10. And check it out. Look at that beautiful round meringue. There we go. So, we're going to let this thing cool and we are going to let it uh, just hang out for about an hour and then we'll probably put it in the refrigerator after that um, for a couple hours. And then you know what? It's ready to go. So here it is folks. Orange meringue pie. A little something different. Love the lemon meringue but you know what? In life, every once in a while, you got to change things up to keep it interesting. So we're going to look forward to having this tonight with our dinner. And um, we had a great time putting this pie together. Hope you had a great time being with us. And you know what? See you next time here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye. Bye.